Hello and welcome to our final introductory session on the basics of filmmaking. In this session, we're gonna be talking about editing and completing your film. So you've written your script, you've planned it all, and you've filmed it. Now it's time to begin the edit. The edit is where the film is brought together and all your shots are put in order to create a final completed film. You'll need to look over all of the footage that you filmed, select the best clips and place them into a sequence to tell the story of your scene. Like every area of filmmaking, there's a real depth of knowledge to editing and there are so many advanced techniques that you can learn. So this video cannot possibly cover everything, but we're gonna take you through some of the basics and the simple steps that you can take to complete your film. Now, the first thing to say is that there are so many different ways of editing your film and there are so many different pieces of software that you can use to put your films together. All of these programs will have different features and different setups and interfaces, but the basics should by and large be the same. Some of the names you may come across when you're looking for editing software are iMovie, Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Sony Vegas, and there's many more as well. Now, those pieces of software that I've just mentioned will come at a cost. You can get free trials, of course, but having the program full-time is gonna be expensive. Now, if you're at school, you may have access to the software on the computers, but that's great. But if you're a home user and you don't have access, that's okay as well. There are free editing softwares that you can get on the internet that you can download and use. If you've got a mobile device, you may find that you've got an editing program built into your phone that you can use. Check on your phone or even on your tablet on the App Store. You might find that on there, there are other pieces of software that you can download very easily to edit your films. The most important thing to say is work with what you have. You don't need to spend an enormous amount of money starting out because you're only practicing at this stage. As you get advanced, you may want to consider investing in better software to develop your skills, but for now, stick to the basics and keep the costs down. For the purposes of this video, I'll be editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's my go-to editing software of choice. The way it's laid out will be different to other editing programs, but the basic functions will stay the same. I'll also look later at iMovie on the iPhone or iPad to show you the basics of how this works. The first thing we're gonna talk about is getting your footage in order. If you're editing on a computer, you'll need to do a data transfer. And if you're editing on your phone, you won't need to take all of these steps. Today, I'm working on an Apple device, an iMac. It's similar to a MacBook Pro or a MacBook. You may have these in a suite, media suite at school or college. Um, if not, you may also be working on a PC. Whatever you're working on, I would recommend that you go online and look at tutorials and advice on how to use your specific machine uh, to work with editing software. So kicking off, we've attached the memory card to the computer. And if we click in here, we'll find the folder structure for the memory card. And once we go through, we'll find all of the clips we filmed. Now, this is from a project I worked on quite a while ago, which is why it's dated 12th of July, 2015. But it's a good way of demonstrating uh, for this project how the editing process works. Next, we need to highlight these clips and we need to right click and copy. We want to save these clips now to our computer itself or to an external hard drive that's attached. I'm going to use an external hard drive today. We set up a folder here, a new folder, and we recall this just for this purposes, quad learning project. Edit. Once we've created that, we can go inside and then click to paste all 10 items from the memory card. Now that we have all the footage copied across, it's time to open our editing program. So if we go to the bottom here, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna open the editing software up and we're gonna create a project. Now when you open editing software for the first time, you might find it quite daunting. Just remember that you're only creating a basic project here and you only need the simple functions that I'm gonna show you. So we choose new project and again, we're gonna call this quad learning project. And we're gonna to choose to save this in the same folder where we've got our clips. Let's jump across that hard drive now. And that's in here. And then press okay. You can ignore all these sections for now. And now we've opened the full uh, editing software for Premiere Pro. Quite a lot of windows here. I'm gonna explain how everything works. So firstly, in this bottom corner here, we've got our project window. This is where we're gonna collect all of the footage. So if we double click here, import media to start, 
will find the clips we've brought across from the camera. You can highlight them all and press import. And now you'll see down here in this bottom corner, all of the clips have been brought across into our editing suite. The next step is gonna be creating a timeline. So we've got a timeline here across. There's no sequence at the moment. So what we need to do first is create a new sequence. And we're gonna call this quad learning project edit. Okay. So now that the quad project's been created, let's look at adding some clips to our timeline. So we can take any clip from here. Let's take this first one and we drag it across change the sequence settings so as you'll see here now the first clip has appeared in the edit if we want to cut this clip down and trim off some of it let's take this out again for a second the first thing we can do is place it into our source window here um, we can watch a couple of seconds through the clip the clip itself is 21 seconds long probably a little bit too long for what we want we only want a couple of seconds so Let's choose where we want the clip to start. Let's say from this midpoint here. We press I on the keypad for in. And a couple of seconds later, that's probably enough there. We press O for out. So that marks our in and out points. We can then drag the clip across from here and place it onto our timeline. And now if we press play, we can see the clip playing back here. The other way to do this would be to take the entirety of the clip into the timeline. Zoom in a little closer, let's just watch. And if we pause it here, we can either drag this shorter and take these couple of seconds and then bring it back. So then, this is our selection. Or if we jump back a little bit, we can use the razor tool to chop off the start and ends of the clip. And then we've chosen the exact point of the clip that we want to use within our film. Let's repeat this process again now. Take the next clip here. We choose our in point and then pause and press O to choose our out point. We can then drag the clip across and join the two clips next to each other in the sequence. Let's take it back and press play. So here's our first shot leading directly into the second shot. You can then repeat this process for all of the clips, look through your footage over here in the project window, choose the ones you want, edit them down to the right size and then drag them into the sequence in the order that your story unfolds. Lastly, I want to talk about the channels. So here we have our video channels, one, two, three. So the first one here is where our clip is playing in V1. We could drag this clip here to V2 so that it edits across straight into it. You might also use these other video channels to place text above the video. You've also got the same underneath, so audio channels. So in the first audio channel, A1, we've got our audio playing from the camera. And then underneath this, we might want to layer another audio channel, which could be some background music or some background sound effects and so on to A3, as many channels as we might need. I've now jumped forward a little bit so you can see what the edit looks like when it's completed. This is a version of the film I was working on that's now fully edited together in a timeline. So if you follow the steps that I've talked about earlier, you'll eventually arrive at this point as well. So you've got quite a lot of clips all joined together in the timeline here. I'm making use of the different audio track channels as I talked about earlier. So channel A1 here with the main audio and then A2, A3, A4. You can look at additional tutorials to develop advanced skills and build your experience level. One last thing we might want to do before exporting the edit is add a title card or credits. To do this, if we go to File, New, 
and we can use legacy title here. Different editing programs will have different ways of doing this. I'm just demonstrating in Premiere. So if we call this hero title, and then you'll see a text box will appear here. We can click anywhere on the screen and create a title here. And if we just call this hero movie, just as basic. Now there's some legacy title styles here. Let's choose something basic for this film. You know, this kind of style thing will probably work. And then we can click here on the selection tool and drag it to the middle. Now once we've done it, you'll notice here in the bottom project window, we've now got the hero title has appeared alongside all of our clips. So we can drag this across, and place it on our timeline. So we could place it here over the end of the film, or you could even lay it on the V2 channel over the very first clip on the timeline, for example, like this. And then if we press play, we can see that working here. Now you can also change the color of this. So if we were to select the text again here and go to color, choose red, for example, that would now change on the film. And that's just a very basic way of adding titles. You can find further advice on this if you look on YouTube at tutorials or search online for written tutorials as well. Each editing software will have different ways of adding title cards to the film, so it's worth spending a bit of time looking at that and finding out about the different functions. We might also want to add some audio to the film with some music. So here in the timeline, I've got uh, some sound effects. So let's listen to those. So underneath uh, this character talking here, if I mute these channels, you should be able to hear. Some sound effects. So in A4, I've dragged across some traffic sounds, background sounds. So let me just delete that here and show you how I did that originally. Let's take that away. And if we take across the traffic light, now I've imported that in the same way that I did with the videos earlier. So if I drag this across, and layer it onto A4, you'll be able to hear the sound effect. So it works in the same way as the video clips do, where you drag it across onto the timeline. You can also double click here and it'll appear in the source window. So much the same as the video, you can mark it in point and then out point with the O. Then you can drag from this drag audio only button here and drag it across and add a smaller section onto your edit as well. This also works for music. So if I take these out, I've got some music here. If I double click on there, as you can hear. So if I wanted to add a section of music, again, I can choose an in point with I on the keyboard and then mark out with the O. I can drag this across and place it on A4, for example. And then if I press play or press space bar here, you can now hear the music playing underneath. If I go to audio track mixer here, if I just press play briefly, you'll see the different channels are playing here and they're going up and down. You can adjust the volume as well. So let's say we want to think the music's a little bit too loud. Here's A4, that's the music. So I can drag this down to make it quieter. And then when I play it back, I can now hear the dialogue spoken by the character a little bit better. So you can play around with the audio track volumes to make sure that the sound effects or the music are quieter or louder, depending on what you want. Lastly, for this section, I'm now going to talk about exporting your video and completing your film. So now that we've got a completed film here, let's use my example that I've edited together. We want to go to File, Export, Media. Once you've done that, you'll see quite a complex screen here. So you don't need to pay attention to everything on here. We want a very, very basic output. So friendly format to use might be uh, H.264. 
It's pretty universal, works on PCs and on Macs, and you can upload it to YouTube as well. And if we can choose an option, we could leave it at match source, which matches how the footage was recorded, or you can choose YouTube. So let's say choose YouTube 1080p. That's kind of standard for YouTube. And that's setting our format here. So we know what type of video file we're gonna export. Output name of the file is quad learning project mp4 and that's going to be saved to the same folder that we transferred all of our clips to right at the start of this process so we press save again for now just because you're only learning the basics you can feel free to skip over all these sections here there is obviously tutorials that you can find online that explain a little bit more about them but we don't need that for now so leave all of these unchecked for the time being and then we want to press export and that will then export it immediately with the current settings and now you'll find the export is underway. Depending on the specifications of the device you're working on, the export might take a little longer or a little shorter. It all depends on the power of the machine, but just wait until the process is complete and then you'll have a finished file that you can use and upload to the internet or send to people. And with that, our video exporting process is now completed. So you've gone through the edit, you've put your clips together, and you've now managed to create a finished video file. Let's go and find that now so we can see where it is. So if we go to Finder, and we find our original folder where the video is saved, which is Quad Learning Project Edit. And we scroll down here, here's the original files we imported. Here's the editing files, the editing projects that we set up right at the start of this process. And here we'll find our Quad Learning Project .mp4, double click it. And now we have our finished video edit file. I'm gonna very quickly look at iMovie now. This is on the iPhone. It can also be downloaded on the iPad. You may find it's already pre-installed on the device, but if not, you can download it from the App Store. If you're working on something like an Android device, you can also check that phone's built-in apps or check the app store and see what video editing software is available. It might be worth searching online for phone editing software and seeing what it comes up with. Obviously, the same thing applies as with the computer-based editing programs. Do your research and experiment around and see what works for you. So moving back to iMovie, first page you'll see is projects. So if we click create project and click movie. You'll see on the right hand side a selection of clips. These are ones I've just filmed around my space where I work and also some things from outside when I was doing shot examples for session one. Let's click on some of the clips here. So if we just choose one, two, three, maybe four shots from here. And then we click create movie. And that's automatically put all four of the clips into a timeline. So if I press play here, that's just gonna quickly run through the clips that we've chosen so far. The timeline function here is very similar to what we've already seen on the computer. Now, let's see about editing this first clip in the timeline. So if we play it through again, we can see the clip kind of whips backwards. We don't want that bit in there. So let's click on the clip itself. We find a yellow box appears either side of the clip and you can drag that across now to remove the bit of the clip that you don't want. And then if we press play, we've now lost that element of the clip. You can also add effects as transitions between shots. For here, we might not want to dissolve. We probably want nothing just so it cuts straight from one shot into the next. Let's play that back now and see how that looks. Go straight into the shot here. This shot's also quite long. Probably don't want all of that. It's a 28 second shot. So let's see if we can trim that down from 28 seconds. You can see at the top. Shot's now only looking at around 14 seconds. And if we start looking up, then we can take them off the end as well. So the shot's now looking at around five seconds. Let's skip back here and drag it along and press play. So now it's a much shorter clip. And you can continue to do that through all of the clips in your timeline. If you want to add new clips, we'll just press the plus button here. 
I'm going to choose Moments, because this is my most recent clips, and I can take anything that's been previously filmed on this device. So I'm going to take this shot here. And that's going to be added in at this point in the film. Once you've added all of your clips to the timeline, and you've got them in the order that you want, you can then think about adding some music, perhaps. So if we press the plus button and go to audio, you'll then find soundtracks. These are sometimes included. You can also download songs to your phone and use those as well. Let's just take uh, this song here, for example. It can be anything, really. And we press play to add that to the timeline. And then now if you press play, you'll find that the piece of music's been added. Now, as with the desktop editing software, there's quite a depth of knowledge involved to editing on iMovie or any kind of mobile editing app. So dig in, have a look around and see what you can find. But the basics that I've shown you here will get you quite far. Now that you've finished your music, you can think about saving your video. So we want to press done at this point and you'll get my movie appear on screen. Press the middle button here with the arrow pointing up and you'll scroll down to save video. The movie will then be exported to your photo library and now you have your completed film. We could fill an entire session with editing on iMovie on the mobile device. In the meantime, keep looking at the basics, keep exploring the app and look online for further advice and tutorials. So that's everything. You've completed your movie and you've got a finished film to show people and be extremely proud of. This video has just covered some of the basics of editing and I'd highly recommend practicing in the editing software, going online, looking at editing tutorials to find some more advanced skills about putting your films together in an edit software. Go back, look at the previous sessions, review this one again, and remember all the time that you're making films, you're building your skills, you're building your experience level, and you're advancing as a filmmaker. Make sure you show it off to as many people as possible, get some feedback, keep learning, keep growing, and keep making those films. I hope these sessions have proved useful, and good luck with the rest of your filmmaking.